Hello and welcome to another one of my videos. Yes, today we are going to be doing our makeup. Yes, that is happening. Oh my goodness me, it's absolutely stunning. Yes, that's happening. Yeah! Welcome, welcome, welcome to the Juno Show. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the Juno Show. Welcome, welcome to the Juno Show. And welcome to the Juno Show. And welcome to the Juno Show. Yes, that's happening. Yes, everybody, I am back. I have arrived and I am stunning and gorgeous and I thought I would wear my human skin suit just for the occasion. This is the first time I am doing a YouTube video since I've been back from my tour, Attack of the Stunning, where we went all around the US, Australia and the UK and it was absolutely stunning and I am so excited for more adventures like that. It was absolutely gorgeous. Yes, it was. And um, But today, everybody, I thought we would do our makeup, seeing as though I've not done my makeup in a while. Um, and just perfectly, we've got the new Juno and Trixie Cosmetics collection that we're going to use, which is going to be absolutely gorgeous. Oh. And I'm going to teach all of you gorgeous humans how to use an alien palette. Yes, that's happening. People have seen me do blue um, foundation so much on this YouTube channel. So I thought I would be a human being for today. I'd say I was giving very 1967 barbecue garden party Tupperware collection queen. Yes, that's happening. Before we start, everybody, I must remove my sunglasses. Yes, I know, I look absolutely gorgeous. And just to remind you all, I do have eyeballs. Oh, yes, gorgeous. Oh my goodness, mate, look at this fresh, stunning face. Oh. Everybody keeps saying how unique the colour story is on this palette. And honestly, it's so unique, just like me. I know a lot of people do palettes where they, they do colours that sort of all blend in together on the same palette but I am quite known to do very clashy colours. I like clashing things a lot. <laughs> you've got the human section, the alien section, and then you've got the dark tones for all the eyes and absolutely gorgeousness. So today, I thought we would do a little bit of contouring with the human section. And I thought we would do a little bit of a like purpley, bluey, bruisey eye, eye moment, which would be gorgeous. So I think that's what we're going to do. Yes, it's something. I've been using it for f***ing ages now, but um, look how gorgeous those colours are. I mean, on camera, this might look the same colour as this, but in actual fact, this is very lavenderous. It's very lavendery, violet tone. Um, but when I use my green screen, these kind of go to blue to stop the green screen. I don't know. It's just something that happens. This is happening. Anyway, oh my god, I've not took the mirror thing off. Ah. <sighs> Now, my darlings, are you ready? So I'm gonna start with the skin. I'm gonna give myself a bit of a bronzy moment. Yes, I've been in California for ages, so I've got a bit of a tan. So I want to just match all my skin together and make it all gorgeous. Right, so I like to use human beans. It's quite nice on my skin. So I'm just going to use human beans. So I'm putting baked beans on my face, yes, it's happening. Into the cheekbone. Oh, look at the blendage. Look at the blendage, people. Yes, it's happening. Across the forehead. I also like to put a bit on my um, nose as well. The Mona Lisa has arrived. Also, I know this might sound a bit weird, but I saw somebody do this with the palette the other day, and they used pores, which is like a macaroni cheesy orange, to uh, on their on their skin, like a like a contour. Or like a bronzer. So I kind of want to give it a go, people. I'm gonna I'm gonna go and do some orangey moments. Oh, oh, I see how it is, people. I discover something new with this palette every day, honestly. Okay, so I'm going to go onto my brows. Um, and I I've been using a HM eyebrow pencil, and it actually is a slay. It's an absolute slay. Oh my god, let me just get my, you know, just my trans pride mirror. Oh, so we're going to go start with the brows, everybody. <laughs> mm. 
not snappage of the brow pencil. No! Oh my god, this me. Why have you done this to me? This is so transphobic. I, I've always dressed really 60s in drag, but I've always done like a 1930s brow. <laughs> and I just love mixing eras up. It kind of makes it all really round. In drag, I look like Thomas the Tank Engine. And I'm going to take some Krylon white. And I'm just going to use this as a base for the eyeshadow. And I'm going to go all over the lid, everybody. Yes, because we're doing blue tones, I like to do a very, very pale lid colour first. Ah, and I'm just going to blend it all out with my finger. Yes, it's happening. I've kind of missed doing human makeup a little bit. Because I've, I've literally done blue drag nearly every day on the tour. So it's nice to come home and just do something different for a change. And I'm already feeling this fantasy. So, what we're going to do next, everybody, is I'm just going to get a powder puff. Barely got any powder on it. I'm just matting it slightly over the brow. I'm supposed to start with the f Do you know what? This is, this is what's happened to me lately, people. I've lost my sense of where I am. So I'm going to start with Snozberry. Snozberry. Who's ever heard of a Snozberry? I have on Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory in 1970. Yes, that's happening. And I'm going in to the core of my lid and I'm just going to gently stamp this on just for the ultimate blandage. Yes, it's happening. Oh my goodness me. She's already looking gorgeous. Can you believe it? Have we told ourselves that we're stunning today, people? Ah, oh, right, now that we've stenciled out where the um, dark colour is going, see, this isn't blended at all yet. I'm just labelling it on my face. And I'm going to take lavendress. Yes, it's happening. And I'm going to just plonk it in the middle over the top and then take that br 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 d d dark colour um, and I'm just blending that out into the corners. I'm taking Bone Hilda, which is the whitest of whites. Honestly, it's so f***ing white. Watch, watch this. If you just pack that on the brow bone here, already, it's insane. <sighs> so I love putting like white all over. And then when I cut the creases, I'm going to go back in and I'm going to make it all ombre and gorgeousness, yes. Boop scooping baby is driving me crazy, my obsession's got a western, a dance all day. Oh my goodness gracious May. White eyeshadow, yes it's happening, taking this big chunky brush, absolutely stunning. And we're taking Bone Hilda um, and we're going to just rub, push that in to the crease. So now we've blended that with the white, we're going to leave that now and do the other one. Oh my goodness me, it is f***ing hot today, people. Oh my goodness me. It's actually going up to 40 degrees in the UK, which is, in American, I don't know what that is, but... I think I just got possessed. So I'm not the neatest of people. You may have learned this on this channel, but I am very gorgeous and I am very stunning. So that makes up for it. This white eyeshadow, I know you're not supposed to use eyeshadow as like under eye sort of thing, but I, it lit, look at this that's happening. Look at this. Can you see the stunningness? I'm actually gonna blend some stunning in. And I'm going down, I'm going up and down. So I go in and then to the point where it's nothing. And then what I'm gonna do also is I'm gonna take a bit of blue and I'm gonna put it in the center here. Oh my goodness me. This is an alien eye on top of a human face. Look at that. Look at that stunningness. Look at this behavior. I just love this behavior. Right, okay, so what we're gonna do next is we're taking this really big brush, oh honey, and we're gonna go into Bone Hills again and I'm just gonna blend this together. Or as some people say, marry it together like that marrying we're marrying it together oh my god so gorgeous and i'm gonna do the same with the other eye now people like it's amazing to make something and make it the way you want it and the way that you would like it to be and what you want other people to experience and it's just it's just amazing look at it She's a proud woman. She's a proud woman. Not being so proud, you're annoying everybody. Right, okay, so, okay, so what I'm gonna do next, everybody, is I'm taking Snozberry, and I'm literally gonna carefully dab that into the corner here, like a dot. You see? See what I'm doing? 
angle that into there. I've missed being able to do my makeup and enjoy it and take my time with it because when you're on tour, you literally have like a time limit to get your makeup on. And then I'm taking a bit of lavenderous and I'm also marrying a little bit of lavenderous in with snozberry. If you want to do this kind of eye but you don't want to do the blues and you want to do more of a purpley lavenderous eye, and I'd suggest using wormhole as your dark colour, then lavenderous as your pale colour and mix it with white. Absolutely gorgeous. Absolutely stunning. I'll, I'll do that under the time on this channel, but tonight it's a mixture of all colours. Hello, Philly. Hello. Philly Willie has arrived, everybody. Hi, yeah. He has arrived. And he's doing the technical things for me today, aren't you? Yes. But I'm trying to do a video. Um, just go. We need to buy a bigger SD card. Yes, I know. Goodness me. Right, and what I'm going to do next, everybody, is I'm taking the bent brush. Hello, we have found you. You are back and you are stunning. Oh, shit. I'm taking Grim Reaper. I'm taking Grim Reaper and we're going to really carve out those creases, everybody. Are you ready? And I'm putting it darker in this corner here. I'm talking to you all like you don't know how to do makeup. You all know how to do makeup. I'm just, I like to narrate what I'm doing. I'm naturally a narrator. Yes. My dream job is to be a narrator in on a nature program. You can hear a crackling sound. It's this fucking can of bread bull. It's so rude. Stop crackling. Wow, rude, transphobic. Okay. We're sculpting. We're drag queens, people. We're drag queens. Oh my goodness, my. Taking lavenderous. And I'm going to go under the eye now, everybody. Taking a bit of snozberry also to keep the dark tones in there. Oh. More into the, into the inside of the eye. Gorgeous and stunning behaviour. We want our eyes to be the statement of the face. I know what I'm trying to say, but I don't know how I'm trying to say it. Eyeliner is going on, people. Yes, it's happening. Gorgeous. Right. Eyeliner is did. So I'm just going to stamp Grim Reaper right here, like so. Oh, and then we're going to make, we're going to, we're going to angle Grim Reaper in with the wing. Can you say? Can you see, people? Oh my God. Can you see what I'm doing? Absolutely gorgeous. And I'm also going to just take the excess and rub it underneath the eyeliner under the eye. I'm just putting a bit more lavender just underneath my eyes, everybody. Ugh. Hello, everybody. Sorry about that. I'm having camera troubles today. Yes, that's happening. So while the camera was loading up whatever that footage thing was, I have been doing my mascara and I've been putting freckles on. Yes, and we're looking very, very gorgeous. I've finished the liner. I've added the Grim Reaper into the scenes. And um, now it's time for some white inside eyeliner and some lashes. I don't know why I do this with my face when I'm putting my mascara on. Does everybody do this? I want to know why we do that face when we put mascara on. Like, what is that about? Do you, are you scared you're going to get mascara in your teeth? I got a House Laboratories white eyeliner pencil. I'm going to be adding this into the inner corners, just cleaning that up. Next, the gorgeous life-size Juno lashes. Oh my goodness me, how stunning is that? Now, when I designed these, I said, I want to do a lash that is really short in the middle and really big on the outside. I've been using this glue lately. I don't even know what it is. I think I got it in Australia. It's called Strip Adhesive with Aloe Vera. Also, while I'm waiting for my lashes to dry, do you know what I'm gonna do really quickly? And there's nothing you can do to stop me. I'm going to get Flamingo. And I'm gonna use this as a blush today. It's like a soft pink. I'm also adding a bit of flamingo to the end of my nose, so we look like we've been out in the wind. Also, a lot of people, I notice a lot of people do this thing where they take a blush and they go across, just a tad. That's actually gorgeous. I'm probably never even gonna use flamingo as an eyeshadow because <laughs> I just love it as a blush so much. Right, putting lashes on, I need to be very careful. Oh my goodness me, people. Oh my goodness gracious me. Oh, oh my God, people. The Juno and Trixie lashes are on. Right, Pat McGrath, our mascara going on, everybody. Yes, it's happening. Right, 
But the thing that I do is I don't put mascara in the middle, I just put it on the outside. Look at that, people. Oh no, I knocked a light over. Shiza Manelli. The eyes are done. The eyes are done. And I look gorgeous. So we've got we've got stunning, we've got bone hilda, we've got lavendrous, and we've got snozberry all blended in together nicely. June bug liquid lipstick. Oh my god. Now I've said this and I will say it again. A lot of matte liquid lipstick do not work for me. They just crack on my skin. The formulas, honey, the formulas. Smooth. Gorgeous and just absolutely soft and stunning, but also matte. How could you ask for such a thing? What I do before I do lips, a lot of people just go straight on with li liquid lipsticks, but I like to line my lips first. And I'm just going to take a little bit of Flamingo and Pluto Root, and I'm just going to gently line my lips. I use eyeshadows for lip, for lip liner because I just feel like I have more control. Ah. Right, what I'm gonna do now is I'm putting on the most gorgeous lipstick in the world. Now, this color, everybody, on my blue skin, this often looks very brown, like a beigey pink. But on my human skin, it looks a lot more pink. A lipstick that changes color, everybody. Ah. And I'm gonna take some Joy Desperate, the only beige shimmer. And I'm just going to use it as a little bit of a contour. We've got Joy Desperate on the lips. Oh my god, I'm really proud of this. I'm really proud of this makeup today. I feel like this has worked. This is working. This is gorgeous. This is stunning. She has arrived. She's come to the barbecue. She's bringing the ambrosia salad. And she's about to get her hair cut by Edward Zazan's. Yes, that's happening. Oh my goodness gracious me. So that, everybody, is the finished look. You can now buy the Juno and Trixie Cosmetics collection. Lashes, the palette, the lipstick, the mirror, the sleeping mask. Also, right, I know I'm I know I'm plugging the shit out of everything today, but I can't wear sleeping masks. I feel like my eyeballs are being pushed inside of my skull. And I can't wear sleeping masks, even though the light really bothers me when I'm asleep. But I tried this ages ago when we were um, working out the collection, and I'm not even joking, it's the softest thing in the f***ing world. I sleep with it every night because our bedroom's like a greenhouse, because we have windows all around the bedroom. So I sleep with this on every single night. Yes, it's happening. But anyway, silence. Thank you for watching this video, everybody. I hope you have enjoyed seeing this stunningness come to life. I don't even want to put my glasses back on. Thank you, everybody, for all the support. <laughs> Sorry. It's just so cheesy. But I just want to say, everybody, I just want to say thank you for supporting my drag over the years because it really is, this is, a, this is insane. Thank you for watching this video and I shall see you next time. Goodbye. I have lipstick on my teeth that whole video.